Hello everybody, it's the Yeti here and uh, yeah, I've got hold of uh, Stalker 2 thanks to uh, having um, Game Pass so you know, it's not really cost me a lot at all let me just drop this music down you might not be able to hear it though because I've got it streamer disabled so basically you won't be able to uh, hear the music unfortunately so uh, right so yeah, basically Stalker 2 I've been playing it uh, all yesterday pretty much and uh, my impressions are going to be good and bad um i am enjoying the game uh, it's got some really good uh, missions in there let's just get on with the uh, cut scene uh, starting it again because just to do this uh, review as you can hear the music's very very similar to the music it was at first in fact you can't hear the music i've already made that point but i can hear the music you see so i'm going to keep mentioning the music and you're going to be like what the fuck is this guy talking about which probably they are that anyway but anyway we'll uh, we'll carry on right okay so let's just start it off let's uh we'll go with that one we'll go stalker The central checkpoint could be on alert after the emission, but there's another way in. A crack in the wall to the left of the fight. Bugger off! 
hope you didn't lose your secret artifact along the way. If it's outside the zone for too long, it will have lost its anomalous energy. <coughs> but I've got this shiny metal thing to recharge it. One lucky activation and we have a gold mine. Sector 9, visual detection of the vault. I say again, Sector 9, visual detection of the vault. seen artifacts, artifacts taken, taken from, from the zone, zone before. They, they always burn out and fall apart real fast. But this one? This one is not from the zone. Oh, I bet. Where'd you find it? In my laundry basket. <laughs> Who do you think you're talking to, huh? You have any idea what this is gonna cost me? If it's not an artifact, it's gonna blow us all to hell! I won't let my hard work come to nothing because of you. I won't let you bust it down the shit! This stone owes me a new home. We gotta move. Fuck around, find out, lad. As you can see, the, the, the cutscenes are phenomenal. They are really good. But then again, you always get good cutscenes anyway. So uh, this, is, this is the beginning of the game. Nehoda will explain how to proceed with the scanner. He's waiting for you. Good luck. Right, so this is the beginning of the game, and basically it's going to give you all different bits of information. Fucking hell, can you guys shut the fuck up? Right, okay, so you've got WSD, which a lot of people are uh, crying about apparently, but it is the generic uh, way that we do this uh, first-person games. Now, I'll tell you a funny story yesterday. Uh, the... It came up at the bottom of the screen, like press shift to split to sprint. I didn't see this barbed wire fence, so I was like right next to the barbed wire fence, and I sprinted straight into it, injuring myself, which then gave them the opportunity to say, "This is how you use a med kit." <laughs> so I mean, I mean, what it should have told people, from what I'm hearing at the minute, is how to re redefine keys because. It seems as as gamers nowadays, we, we get that and oldie shit all the time nowadays that we don't actually want to search for anything. If you need to really find your keys, it's simple, really. You just go straight into controls and you press keyboard settings. Right there is all your re redefinable keys. So there's no problem there. Uh, the torch light that you get uh, eventually, you will basically just press the right uh, just press the button down in the middle of your mouse your mouse wheel just press it bang look at that on off on off you know you, you don't need to uh you, you don't need to be doing any um like key things or anything like that as simple as that on off and uh yeah so basically the game starts where it drops you into the zone you're trying to get this artifact powered and uh, that's pretty much what you're uh, where you're going to be heading to to uh, type of find the anomalies and then use that machine what he gave you yeah to try and power the artifact um as the game goes on you know you'll find the tans and things like that the game is huge it's huge i'm gonna i'm gonna say the the points that i do like and then i'm gonna say the big fucking the elephant, well, it's not even, well, it is an elephant in the room, but normally people can't see the elephant. You can't not see this shit, to be honest with you. And that is, uh, personally, for me, the optimization is shocking for this game. 
when I was in um, when I was actually in the town, um, I couldn't move. I felt like my character had turned into a QE2. I couldn't turn round. Uh, if I pressed the interact button, uh, the interact button wouldn't uh, work. I had to press it like three or four times. And also, if I went outside, some of the um, NPCs were jumping up and down and things like that. Some very odd, like, uh, accents in this as well. Um, but, yeah, I mean, it, I'm sorry, but I'm, ju I'm just going to say it. Um, I'm sick of this shit with games, to be quite honest with you. Now, I mean, I've got, uh, I've got Stalker 2. I've got it on Game Pass. Yeah, so it's not such a big thing. Um for me but it is a big thing really because i'm getting a little bit tired of it to be honest with you uh, i know there's certain things that you can patch you know that you probably don't notice before you release a game but when you release a game in this state the way that uh, the way that actual town is is just i'm sorry it's just i'm not i'm not having it basically i've come up with an idea right if you're going to keep releasing games that's got uh, that's unfinished in that respect then what we'll do is when we buy the games off you, we'll just give you a deposit and then give you the rest of the money when the game's finished. Because that's pretty much what uh, is going on uh, nowadays. And a lot of people won't mention it or anything like that. I don't really give a shit, to be quite honest with you. I'm not looking for free keys and all that bollocks. So, you know, I just want to play good games. And uh, that aside, um, I do think this is a good game. I've enjoyed playing it. I've enjoyed the story where it's going. The various missions and things like that, I think I've uh, enjoyed quite a bit. The game looks decent, to be honest. I mean, I've had to drop the settings down. I mean, I did have it all on Epic. I've got quite a beefy machine, but I had to drop it down to medium. And it, even now, it's still uh, a little bit bad. Uh, everything looks better. I was never a big fan of the first game, to be honest. Uh, the world kind of runs around you, sort of thing. It continues to run as it is, but I did notice, like, uh, there was one point where I got into a, where I went over, and you could go into a town where there's fighting going on. You'll get your ass kicked. They don't bother. You. Not early game anyway. And uh, then you can go left. And if you go left, these soldiers start coming and they start shooting you. So I thought, what I'll do is I'll sit in the top of that tower and I'll see if those soldiers come anyway. And they don't. They only come if you actually pass the threshold. Uh, you know, I mean, I don't know about that nowadays. I mean, I, I know we used to have that in games a lot uh, before, but I don't really see a thing with that. Um, but in a sense, it does make you feel like the world is living. You know, the dogs look a hell of a lot better than they did in the first one. Uh, I've had like a few missions where I've had to do things outside of town and basically the people in the town have come out and helped me and some of them have, have even died uh, and uh, I got the mission credit as well a lot of games won't give you the mission credit um, you know if you if anybody helps or whatever like that and they gave them the mission credit uh, the characters in the in the game are pretty decent to be fair the voiceovers are quite a really good the music the tension uh, the feeling of the game, I think, is really good. You know, there is times where it's really tense. There's a lot of dogs in it from what I've played so far. But this is only, like, an impressions. I'm not even, I've not even touched the sides of this game yet, really. I mean, if you look at a map of, of my actual game... In fact, you've got, you've got the anomaly there, look. Yeah, basically, go, walk to this guy, grab the stuff he's got, and then fucking get out before that thing fries your fucking head. And, um, and then basically wait, you know, normal thing. It'll go across here and then you leg it afterwards and things like that. I'll show you my actual game, what I've got going at the moment. And uh, we'll work it from there. Pick the shit up quick and get the fuck out of there. And, uh, yeah, so you've got, like, all different kinds of mutants and things like that as well. The worst at the moment are the bloodsuckers, but there was in the first game, if I remember. Um, so you've got like these little rats and things. I don't, I don't want to give too much away anyway, but uh, it's pretty. If you played the first game, you'll you'll pretty much know most of it anyway. Right. So if I now go to, uh, I'll show you this bit first actually. Actually, I don't think it is. No, I don't think it is this bit.
But as you can see, I mean, it is very, very atmospheric. It is a very atmospheric game. Now, I don't know what you guys can hear with having that stream of mode copyright fucking wank shit bollocks crap that we have nowadays uh, going on. But uh, so I don't know what you guys can actually hear or whatever like that. But the tension and everything is actually there. The atmosphere is actually there. Let me just um, drop on to my... Watch me have gone over my fucking save. That How fucking annoying would that be? Right, okay, let's... Uh, I think this is mine. Th this is how far I am in the game. Because you get a PDA, you've got a map on there, and it tells you about all the different areas you can go and have a look at. There's a lot of different types of areas as well. A lot of them look pretty much the same. One thing I did like, I'll be honest, one thing I did like, right, I'm going to do it this time, it won't auto-save, because I've got auto-save turned off. I said to this guy, yeah, okay, I'll do the mission, and then I went, boom, oh, and shot him in the face. You know, so I can actually do that, which to me makes it like a proper RPG. You don't have to just follow the narrative or anything like that. You know, you can actually just shoot the man in the face and you can shoot him in the face again. Or you can do one of my favourite hobbies at the moment because you get these bolts and you throw them into the anomalies and then you run like fuck through the anomalies because otherwise they're going to if they grab you, that's it, you're dead. But the thing is, all the devs, I just want to show you something. We spend all the time programming these games and making great looking games with bad optimization. And then all I do is throw bolts at people's faces. I mean, it's just hilarious, really. I mean, that, I mean, all that work you go through and we just sit here throwing bolts at people. And uh, right. So, yeah. So basically what happens is you can you can end this dude. Yeah. Or yeah, you can talk to him. I said, yeah, yeah, no worries. I'll do your quest. And then I shot him in the face. And the next time I did it and I didn't shoot him in the face. And I tried to do the quest, which I failed at. Well, that's uh, another story. But uh, as you can see, the basic gist is, look, it's not. It's a decent game. Yeah. But can you please finish your fucking games before you release them? I, you know, it's getting a little bit, um, it's getting a little bit annoying uh, getting these games and then having to wait until they get fixed and things. You know, so just get, just get it done. I mean, you can pick up guns like everywhere. You can take on anybody you want. Uh, some, some you'll win, some you'll lose. Uh, but you can pick up guns anywhere. You can get them repaired as well. There's a technician in the town. And there's a guy that will sell you guns and better inventory. You can upgrade your guns as well. I uh, don't know if you can actually uh, see the upgrade unless I actually go into the town. I believe I would open the envelope. Right, so that's basically your inventory. As you can see, these guns are durability is fucked. But you can actually get them repaired. It costs quite a bit though, to be honest. It does actually cost quite a bit. You got a PDA system, which I absolutely love, to be honest. I mean, th this is my game at the moment. Look, I've got plenty of missions. I've got one to go into this root cellar and find some icon or something. And uh, another one where I've got to find this team. They're pretty, a bit like uh, Predator, where you've got to try and find the Green Berets and stuff like that. So I've got to find this team. Find I, I, I don't want, I'm not going to spoil it anyway. But, uh, yeah, so that's your town there, Zalicia. Yeah, that runs like an absolute dog in there, I'm not going to lie. But, uh, yeah, so Stalker 2, guys. Like I say, this is just an impressions. I might be playing it on stream a bit later on. But this, for now, is just an impressions on it. And um, what I, I wouldn't say... Uh, I'm quite enjoying the game, to be quite honest with you. I'm actually uh, quite enjoying the game. But the optimization when you're in that town is just shocking. Anything else seems to work okay there's like one or two frame drops and things like that but uh i think i've pretty much um sort of covered most of it you know i mean you'll take your time to find the guns are quite beefy as well i will say that the guns are quite good they actually feel like you're uh you know firing a, a shotgun although i've got no hey wait a minute no i think we, i think my shotgun's fucked and then you got the sniper rifle as well and everyone loves a sniper rifle I just press the left shift to hold your breath, which is like a thing that in most of them nowadays. And uh, yeah, so shooting the uh, shooting it off. Let me just. Uh... 
yeah there's a good feeling with the guns as well i think the i don't think there's any uh, issue with anything like that uh let me just waste some bullets i think what it is the reason the problem with the gun at the minute is it's the durability is fucked so obviously the gun is not firing as it should be so every time i fire a shot i'm having to fix the yeah look i mean that's pretty cool to be honest it's quite uh it's quite immersive i like the fact that you could just oh fuck i like the fact that you could just shoot anybody look out mate just shoot him in the face and then just run away i mean oh shit there, there's an anomaly oh one uh, one thing i will say is uh, be careful with the auto save because there was one point where there was an anomaly and i died and it killed me and uh, it saved just beforehand so basically every time i loaded up again i just i just went into the fucking anomaly and blew up every fucking time i could not get out of it and uh, yeah so uh, be really careful with that but as soon as you see the anomalies or as soon as you start getting the beeping yeah all you've basically got to do that's not one that's a smaller one but all you've got to do basically is press six you get the bolt you throw the bolt so basically you just keep shooting your bolt everywhere i mean i probably uh not in that way either but uh yeah so then just check your map and uh, i'm trying to find the time that's what i'm doing actually so i can just show you the time before uh before i pack this in but so far my impressions are decent they are good um it's definitely a lot better than the first game never a big fan yeah oh, there's an anomaly so basically if you chuck a bolt in there disappears oh bollocks have we got up oh well i did yeah i shouldn't have run in that quick really i should have waited till it actually disappeared see it's disappeared now but when it disappears make sure you get that far, so far away from it um but yeah, that's pretty much uh, it in order to sort of heal. You can have quick buttons as well where you're healing up and everything. Oh, I ain't got no fucking mad kit, so that's that fucking idea out the foot down the fucking shitter. But uh, yeah, so I've got to get some uh, med kits before I can actually heal. Right, this 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 is the tan. Yeah. Now the tan. Now, there was times when I came out and these lot were jumping about like fucking mad people. There was somebody shouting me in a Scottish accent. I don't know, even, I've still not found that person yet. But you've got all these different places where you can go and look, you can just pretty much just throw bolts in people's faces. I mean, I would like to if, if it had shot me in the head eventually, if I keep chucking a bolt at his face. But, you know, it would have been good for immersion, I suppose. Fucking bounces off his fucking head. <laughs> oh my days! Oh, all that work they go through, and <laughs> look, look at what I'm doing. As you can see, the frame drops are happening now, and I've got it on medium. To be honest, I've actually got it on medium. This guy actually gets angry when you keep doing it. <laughs> See that look on his face. <laughs> oh my days never gets old it would have been good if they'd have actually turned around and go you chuck one more bolt at me mate i'm gonna fucking blow your fucking brains <laughs> that would have been decent i suppose but yeah so guys this is stalker just an impressions look i mean look at the slowdown just look at it but yeah this is stalker first impressions I'm the long head yay, and uh, yeah, enjoy. Didn't want to go 24 minutes, but anyway, it's how it goes. All right, big up everybody. Cheers for watching, and uh, catch you later. Keep it real, keep it yay. Just tell it how it is. Don't fucking bullshit with these games and gamers and shit like that. You know, I ain't up out for anything, so just tell it how it is. And uh, just one more thing Stalker 2. So far, decent optimization fucking pants.